Hello Grade 12s and welcome to this lesson on neutralization. In the last few lessons, we have discussed the acid-base models as well as the acid-base conjugate pairs. Let's join Bruce again as he teaches us about neutralization. We're still under acid-base reactions and I want to talk about what happens when an acid and a base a, a acid as in, a, a, as in a, for example, hydrochloric acid and a base in terms of a hydroxide are able to react together. And we introduce a reaction which is known as neutralization. So when an acidic substance and a basic substance act or react together, we have a neutralization reaction. Now, what do we mean by a neutralization reaction? Well, a neutralization reaction is a reaction that will remove both the acidic and basic characteristics of those substances. So in other words, it destroys the acid and it destroys the base. What do we get out of it? Well, we produce a substance known as a salt. Okay. Now, we've got to be quite careful with this word salt because we use the word salt fairly generally and fairly sort of um, easily when we sprinkle our salt onto, the f onto our food, when we have supper and things like that. But guys, what is salt? Well, everyone knows that salt is sodium chloride, okay? And we can make sodium chloride by reacting the acid, hydrochloric acid, and the base, sodium hydroxide, and we will form sodium chloride, and we also get another residue, which is simply water being given off. NaCl, sodium chloride, is an example of a salt. Okay, because what is a salt? A salt is a general name given to all products formed from an acid-base reaction. So it's just by coincidence that hydrochloric acid plus sodium hydroxide produces sodium chloride, and that is what we define as table salt. Okay, but we must have a look at other reactions because if we look at other examples over here, sulfuric acid plus potassium hydroxide is going to produce potassium sulfate plus water. Okay, um, yes, and I put the balancing in there, so yeah, we do need a two over there to balance it out. Now, what is potassium sulfate? Well, that's also a salt, guys. Okay. It's also a salt. Why? Because it's a product of an acid-base reaction. Now, do we sprinkle potassium sulfate onto our food? Absolutely no ways. So, guys, please, we must get away from thinking that when we talk about salt, we're talking about the stuff we um, sprinkle on our food. A salt is simply the, the general name or general term that we give to the product of an acid-base reaction. Another example I've got over here, what about nitric acid plus ammonium hydroxide? Well, that will produce ammonium nitrate also plus H2O, okay? And that is balanced as it stands. There, guys, is another example of a salt. Ammonium nitrate is a salt. It's a product of an acid there, the NO3 part from the acid and the NH4 part from the base. And there it is, the base residue and the... Oopsie, that moved around a little bit. Uh, let's just go back there. Easiest mm. thing to do. Okay. That no, doesn't want to do it. It doesn't matter. We almost finished this. But we've got this, our production, this, our salt over there. Okay. And what we have got right at the end, just to conclude this lesson, is to chat about our general formula or general equation, shall I rather say. Acid plus base will always, always give us a salt plus water. So if you're studying a reaction between an acidic molecule and a basic molecule, okay, or should I say acidic compound and a basic compound, you will know that you will always get a salt and water as a product. Bruce has shown us that when an acid reacts with a base, which is a hydroxide, the products are salt and water. What will be the products if the acid reacts with a base which is a carbonate, like calcium carbonate? Let us look at this example. A dilute hydrochloric acid reacts with calcium carbonate in a solid form. The reaction yields carbon dioxide, calcium chloride, and water. 
We can see in this example that when an acid reacts with a base, which is a carbonate, the products will be carbon dioxide, salt, and water. This brings us to the end of our lesson grade 12s. You will also find more information about acids and bases at www.mindset.co.za for slash learn. Remember to try some of the questions in the task video too. Goodbye.